low morning energy, flat motivation, less libido, and weak muscles. These are the signs of low testosterone. These problems is universal. Testosterone naturally declines in all men. After 30, a man loses about 1% of testosterone each year. By 50, a third man has low testosterone levels on the blood tests. It happens because cells in the testes that produce testosterone become weaker with age. They are called leading cells. And after 30, they slowly lose both number and power. On the other hand, the brain signals that stimulates the testes also becomes weaker and slower. The signals are called GnRH, gonadotropin releasing hormone. Obesity and overweight block testosterone release because fat tissue converts testosterone into estrogens, which sends a stop signal back to the brain. Lack of sleep lowers testosterone also because testosterone is made in deep sleep stages. Poor or fragmented sleep blunts the morning testosterone peak. Other factors like chronic stress, alcohol, inflammation, and certain medications further suppress the axis. Because this process is complex and depends on many factors, I will tell you seven proven ways to increase testosterone in men and improve muscle energy, libido, and erection, motivation, mood, and even cognitive performance. The first and one of the most important stimulator of testosterone is resistance training. If you lift weights regularly for three months, your testosterone level can increase around 20%. Even your baseline testosterone will rise at about 10%. During resistance training, muscles are stressed. This activates the pituitary gland, which then signals to testes to release testosterone. The best practice is lift at 80% of your maximum strength weight. Uh, repeat 5 to 10 times for 3 sets. Do this three to four times per week for about 40 minutes each session. Focus on heavy multi-joint lifts, squats, deadlifts, bench press, pull-ups, and push-ups. Add external load if you feel comfortable with your current weight. The second most important factor is weight loss. The more obese you are, the lower your testosterone is. Even if you are only slightly overweight, testosterone can be 10% lower. This happens because testosterone is converted into estrogen in fat tissue. That means less functional testosterone. And at the same time, it sends a signal to the brain to reduce testis stimulation. It is called negative feedback. Inflammation, insulin resistance, and leptin resistance also play a role. If you lose just 10 pounds, about 5 kilograms, testosterone levels increase in a measurable way in the blood. First important point, if you are overweight, more weight loss means more testosterone. But... If you are already at normal weight, becoming too slim can also lower testosterone level. Best range for body mass index is from 22 to 24. The third factor is sleep. You should sleep more than 7 hours with deep sleep. Testosterone stimulation happens during deep sleep pace. The largest surge of testosterone occurs in the first 3 hours of continuous deep sleep, not just total hours in bed. Even if you are young and healthy, less than six hours of sleep will make your testosterone 10% lower. And simple ways to improve deep sleep is magnesium glycinate or citrate 200 to 400 milligrams nightly, glycine three grams before bed, 
or L-theanine 200 to 400 milligrams nightly. These three supplements are considered safe even for long-term use. The fourth factor is vitamin D and zinc. Vitamin D is crucial if you are deficient, if your level is less than 20 nanograms milliliter. Intake can increase testosterone, but if your vitamin D is normal, there is no effect. And zinc is needed for enzyme in a leading cell and prevents excess conversion of testosterone into estradiol. That's why zinc is effective. Best regimen is 30 milligrams daily zinc with one to two milligrams of copper. If you use less than eight weeks, zinc alone is also possible. And fifth is magnesium. Magnesium binds to sex hormone binding globulin, SHBG, and improves leading cell function, freeing more bioavailable testosterone. It also supports the enzymes needed for cholesterol conversion into testosterone. Best form of magnesium is glycinate or citrate form magnesium glycinate or citrate. They are both absorbed, uh, citrate slightly laxative, uh, so glycinate is better, and dosage is 400 milligrams daily divided into one to two doses with meals. The sixth is supplement fenugreek. Fenugreek inhibits 5-alpha reductase, so testosterone stays active and may stimulate luteizing hormone also. Studies show it improves libido, free testosterone, and body composition. Evidence quality is B, it means moderate. Best dose is 500 to 600 milligrams of standardized fenugreek extract with food. It's best for overweight men with soft, low testosterone levels with symptoms. Lifters in cutting pace when they try to lose weight, lose fats. And men with high DHT but low free T. Usually it's considered safe, no serious side effects, avoid during pregnancy. It may lower glucose level and separate it from thyroid or iron supplements by two hours or more. And seventh is Tonkat Ali, also called Euricoma longifolia. It increases free testosterone by lowering sex hormone binding globulins and stimulating hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis signals. Also lowers cortisol, reduces stress, and this also increase hypothalamic activity. Best regimen of intake is once daily in the morning with food. It matches natural testosterone rhythm and reduces stomach upset. Uh, it's considered safe up to one year in studies, some cycles around 12 weeks on and two or four weeks off. Uh, it is best for men after 35 and bonus is clomipen citrate. It is normally used in women for ovulation induction, but uh, used of love bell in men for secondary hypogonadism when there is low testosterone level or fertility. Dose is 25 milligram every other day. Uh, it can be used for months to years, uh, but you should recheck every six to 12 months. Uh, it can have some side effects like visual disturbances because we have estrogen receptors in our whole body uh, and it can cause hot flushes, mood changes, headaches. In rare cases it can cause gynecomastia, acne, weight gain. Um, it has no proven link to cancers or prostate cancer but you should intake it carefully.